light switch. All right, now we're back live at Pseudo Center. We were talking about uh, this month's issue of The Source Magazine where they talk about graffiti writers turning their pain and illegal activities into money and profiting. What is one way that graffiti writers have now turned their, their artwork into some profitable games? Well, one thing definitely is the fashion industry. Let's talk about you the know, fashion industry. Definitely. Okay. Let's talk about the fashion industry. Um, right now, I'm involved with um, a clothing line that represents graffiti and actually uh, really represents uh, the streets of New York. Okay. Uh, it's called, you know, Ruckus Fashions. Okay. And, um, you know, the CEO, uh, his name is Sid Blaze, and okay. he formed the we went to college together, so, okay, okay. you know what I'm saying, that's my man. But anyway, um, we're in all five boroughs, and we're doing very, very good. Here's one of our designs right okay, here, by the right. way. I'm filling you know, the colors, yeah. www.ruckusfashion.com, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, check out our website. Okay. Um, R period, U period, K period, U period, S period? You got it. Ruckus Fashions. And another way is uh, we're doing a lot of stuff commercially. You know, uh, we're doing like album covers. Um, we're doing a lot of art for a lot of different people. Gallery scene is like hot as hell. Mm -hmm. um, is, is this a good thing for graffiti writers to be able to put, put their work on clothes? Is that, is that good? Yes, it is. It, okay. it, it's very good. I've been doing it um, now over 20 years. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I've been in fashion and graffiti and fashion. That's a natural. Okay. You know, right. it's, it's a natural. I've been doing fabrics, uh, jackets, t shirts. What are your favorite colors to work with for clothing? I like bright colors like okay. pink and orange. yellow, red, orange, 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 orange you okay. know. What did you do for us tonight? Can we look at what you did and maybe have you talk in the Oh, yeah, what it was? Uh, you know, my, my you pleasure. Can see the you know, um, you did this first tonight? of all, yeah, we did that tonight in a little bit of time yeah. you guys gave us. Yeah. But but thank God I got the best young guy in the world working with me. His name is Mears. He's out of Queens. But we represent T.O.P. And that's just a little sample of, you know, what we can do. I mean... Was that in celebration of our first day here at well, the well, Hey! Yeah! A whole lot of soul. That's all I'm feeling here. That's all I'm feeling here is a lot of love, a lot of soul. Okay. Well, I want to thank you for coming through and for doing thank that for you. us. I want to thank Fat Farm. I want to thank the designers from Fat Farm and the models who came through. Rocket thank you, models. Dog. Thank you, models. DJ Flo Fader. Stoli. DJ Flo Fader. Todd Martin. It was really nice. Jackie. Any last words, Jack? stuff. It's great stuff coming up next. You don't want to go anywhere. Come back. Join us again. We're still going. It's the very first day and it's going for you. Yeah. Gavin, what do you think? It was fun. He needs another drink. There you go. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. I just translated it for you. Mecca, Andrew. All right. Big shout to Fire Records. They're here watching the show tonight, too. Oh, Flo Fader. All right. Yeah, Flo Fader. Fader. Thank you. Thank Mecca. you. Mecca. <laughs> Thanks so much for uh, being part of our first day here at Suno. I'm Andrew S. Mecca, Stephen yes. Ryan, Judge Cal and Tanya coming up. More to know.